Afridi delighted with the work of Brown and Ahmed, as he should be. Seven for 178 after 45. Two overs of uh, the bowling power play complete. A little look at the ball. There's concern about the condition of the ball. Whoops. Whoops. Bowled him. That's the wicket Australia needed. Just a couple of quiet overs. Well, we've got a bit of controversy here. New Zealand now 5 for 106. Neil Broom's the last man out. Just watch this replay. Where's Brad Haddon's gloves? Missed it there. Haddon's definitely got his gloves in front of the stumps. Now, whether the ball's hit the stumps or whether the gloves, I'm not really sure, but I don't think this should be out. I don't think the ball's hit the stumps. I really don't think this bowled him. I think that's gone into the gloves, and it's the gloves that have broken that left-hand bail as you look. The off-stump bail broken by the gloves. Well, I think it's irrelevant anyhow, because once the gloves are in front of the stumps, it's definitely not out. Australia opener Cameron Bancroft has been charged by match officials for attempting to alter the condition of the ball after being caught in the act by TV cameras. And uh, this is slowed down, and uh, this is what uh, is interesting people all over the world, actually, at the moment. Bancroft admitted he used tape that had pitch granules on it to rough up one side of the ball. The Indian vice captain Raul Dravid has been fined 50% of his match fee for ball tampering during today's VB series match against Zimbabwe. Dravid appeared to rub a cough sweet into the ball during the Zimbabwean innings, prompting third umpire Peter Parker to report him to Clive Lloyd, the match referee. <laughs> He's gone. He ran into the bowler. Similar happened today. Campbell is down on the ground. Unfortunate when things like this do happen, but the ball is in his right to try and get to the ball. And showing Campbell colliding with him, with him trying to get across. Oh! Edge and he has taken. Sachin yeah! Tendulkar has taken. A.V. De Villiers is unmoved. The umpire is unmoved. He reckons it's clipped the pad on the way to Sachin Tendulkar. And the Indians cannot believe it. So here Khan, once again, getting into it. The corridor of uncertainty has to be his nick this. And it's straight off the edge. And that's a brilliant catch. It did go pretty quick, didn't it, Shiver? That, that, that was always the big question. If it hit the pad, it would have been slow. That's just a regulation, Nick. I see it nations doing battle. Joyce thought his cover drive had found the boundary. Uh... He stopped running mid-pitch, expecting four runs to be signalled by the umpire. Afghanistan claimed the run-out and decided against withdrawing their appeal. And the batsman was on his way. I have to say I'm not quite sure of what has happened here. Replays and this image tweeted by Ireland's media manager clearly showed fielder Mohamed Nabi had made contact with the ball while beyond the rope leaving Joyce and Ireland with a bitter taste. 19, McDermott. Down the next line, he's got him. That's brilliantly taken. The batsman actually is looking towards the winner keeper. The spelling on by giving him the misses out. What a great catch that was by Dyer. The ball. And it comes now. The keeper goes across. Well, in my opinion, there is absolutely no doubt that that ball has hit the ground and wicketkeeper Dyer has claimed a catch, which doesn't look to me as if it was one. Oh! There he goes, and there he goes. Well bowled. Quicker, straighter. Oh, we might just have to have another look at this. The English players think there's no doubt about it at all. Johnson's going nowhere. In come the umpires. Still on now. Let's have a look. Hmm. 
What's going on? What's he asking for here? Is he asking for the stunting? Questioning something, asking uh, Orchard. Well, something that the batsman has done. Well, we're just trying to find out uh, what what they're uh, querying. Let's have a look. This is Brad Williams' uh, previous delivery. Nothing there. Now let's watch, watch the batsman. Well, he struck that all right. There's no drama there. Quite uh, well, Andre. Oh, that was Langer doing that intentionally. Well taken. Good old Inzamam, he's had a mixed day in there. Attacking ball up. Well, this is very strange. It looks like a straightforward edge. And there's Inzamam. Let's have a look. Down it goes, he's dropped it. He absolutely dropped it. Clearly showed that Inzi had grasped it. Well, there's no doubt about it. Oh dear. delivery and he's still there Stuart Raw what's he standing there for they've all appealed it looked as if he just nicked it through the keeper oh my goodness me speechless the audacity of him just walked up the pitch in other word with his non-striking batting the issue there is that zip That's the problem. That should have been out. It still is out. Ian Healy was able to recover and knock the ball onto the stumps. He missed the first attempt. Lara can't quite work out what's happened. He wants to know what went on, but umpire Terry Prue is absolutely certain that he's out. The question is, did Healy break the stumps or did the ball? Up there now, watch the ball. There goes the hand onto the stumps and watch the ball. It goes past the stumps by about four inches, I'd say. Got him this time. Yes, that is. Could that be a match winner? Well, right it's the cup. You've been outstanding here at the Sheikh Zayed Stadium. You might just have done it. It was off the face of the bat. There was a doubt in the last one, but that one, have a look at this. There you go. Oh, he just guided it. He literally guided it to the wicketkeeper. 